This remarkable piece of work revolved around the true story of Nirja, an air hostess. One day their plane gets hijacked and despite losing her senses, she stays strong and dies while protecting the passengers. Who is Nirja Panat? Who are the hijackers and what is their mission? And which heroic act leads Nirja to death? Let's get into the video to find all the answers. Hello and welcome to I Am Movies. The movie opens with a mysterious man observing the Karachi International Airport using binoculars. Afterward, he heads towards the Seder Bazaar and visits a hotel where he orders four plates of biryani and receives a bag in return. The movie proceeds with Nirja Fanat returning from her job to her society, where everyone awaits her at a party. Nirja takes charge of the party and turns the boring one into a happy one. She makes her parents sing, dance, and have fun. On the other hand, the mysterious man arrives at a location where he meets his friends Safarini, Kedalil, Farhan, and Mansoor. They welcome him and lead him inside. After that, the mysterious man unpacks his bags and reveals that the biryani he ordered was, in fact, the arms and bombs for their mission. After the party ends, Nirja indicates that she works as an air hostess, and Tamar was supposed to be her first day as head purser as her friend Shanti is on leave. Nirja goes to sleep, asking her mother to wake her after a while. The mysterious man distributes the weapons among Safarini and his fellows and explains what they will do. After a while, Nirja's father asks her mother to awaken her, and she wakes her up and asks her to leave her job as an air hostess as she is doing well in modeling. But Nirja denies it, saying that she loves her job. Nirja gets to the washroom and prepares just as the terrorists prepare for their mission. As Nirja prays, the terrorists also pray for their success. Eventually, Nirja's friend Jadeep comes to pick her up, and she leads with her, after which her father regrets his mistake of getting her married to Naresh, Nirja's ex-husband. Similarly, Safarmini meets the mysterious man before leaving in doubts Farhan and Mansoor, but he is informed that they have been trained for this day. The man makes him leave, mentioning that they will just hijack the plane and get their brothers out of prison in return for the passenger hostages. Nirja and Jadeep seem very happy together, and he admits that he misses her in her absence, but Nirja ignores him. She asks him to stop the car in front of an ad board, showing him her picture and advising him to visit this place in case he misses her. Jadeep is stunned to see her in a bridal dress and claims she looks gorgeous. Finally, the duo arrives at the airport, and when Nirja is leaving, Jadeep stops her and gives her a letter as a birthday present, which she promises to open on her 23rd birthday. Suddenly, Nirja's friends, Tina and Tabina, appear there and take her away. They tell her that Jadeep is very handsome, and she must consider giving him a second chance. Nirja returns and hugs Jadeep, stating that she also misses him. I miss you. And that they will meet soon. In the meantime, the terrorists enter the Karachi airport by showing the fake passport and introducing Safarini as a minister from Libya. Nirja is very excited to start her job as head purser and checks all the equipments to ensure their serviceability, after which she meets the captains and learns that both captains are French. She informs Captain Spines that it's her first day at her new post and congratulates her, revealing that they're ready to board. Nirja allows all the passengers inside and guides them to their respective seats. An old lady finds Tina and Dabina beautiful and mentions she is looking for a girl for her grandson Rahul. Three kids also board the plane, and when Nirja learns that one of them is scared of planes, she helps him overcome his fear. Soon, the plane takes off after the captain addresses the passengers and cheers their mood by trying the Hindi language. Namaste, Devio or Sanjano. Nirja is holding Jadeep's letter in her hand when Tana spots it and snatches it, but Nirja stops her, saying that she won't open the letter before her birthday as she has given her words to Jadeep. Tana returns the letter with Nirja's promise to marry Jadeep, which makes her blush. After that, Nirja recalls her ex-husband mistreating her and not allowing her to serve food to his friends. Nirish blames her parents for not raising her properly and adds that he will avenge her father. Nirja talks to her father, but she stops him from talking to Nirish and mentions that he does not like her modeling. Her father tells her the rules to be brave, and Nirja returns to the present and wipes her tears. After killing the guards, Safarini and his friend enter the main landing area and wait for the plane to land when Khalil finds Farhan nervous. Kelio gets mad at him for wasting his training, and Safarini calms him while they observe the plane landing. On the other side, Nirja and her crew ensure the safety of the passengers, and Nirja thanks the Karachi passengers before going off the plane. All 
boarding at Karachi. Thank you for flying Pan Am. Radio engineer Imran arrives when Nirja tells him she has a surprise for him. But he prefers meeting pilots first and returns after they confirm no issues. Suddenly, Safarini and his men attack. And before the hostesses can lock the door, they overtake the plane. Luckily, Nirja delivers the hijacked code to the pilots. And before Nirja and Khalil arrive near the cockpit, the pilots decide to follow the protocol. Khalil breaks the door, but he finds the pilots running away. At the same time, Nirja's mother gets alerted by her intuitions, and she discovers that Nirja has forgotten her protection ring at home. The terrorists gather all the passengers in one place and inform them about the hijacking, thus ordering them to raise their hands. They also mention the pilots' escape, while the pilots meet the airport authorities and reveal the situation to them. Khalil is holding his gun at Nirja's head when Rahul tries to stop him, but he is forced to sit back. Khalil then informs Stafarini that if they don't get the plane flying, they will not reach Cyprus, and he suggests killing all the passengers to get their men free in Cyprus. Stafarini ignores this and brings Dabina to make an announcement, but Nirja gets permission and asks everyone to cooperate if they don't want to get hurt. She tells Stafarini that if the passengers are comfortable, they will cooperate with them, which will be helpful so he orders them to lower their hands. Meanwhile, an officer meets the airport controller and informs him about the 44 Pakistanis on the plane, but he gets infuriated and mentions that all hostages are the same. Then he orders a van to be arranged for tarmac and demands cameras to get images of hijackers. Soon, two officers arrive to negotiate with the terrorists, but they get all the windows covered, and Safarini thinks of a radio operator to talk to the authorities. He orders Nirja to make another announcement for a radio operator on their plane, and when Imran tries to get on, she directs him to stay in his seat. He gets mad and holds Rahul and Nirja as hostages and demands pilots within 30 minutes. Otherwise, they will kill all the passengers individually. No pilot! I kill! Kill everyone! The scene shifts to India when Nirja's father gets shocked after learning the hijacked news and informs his wife, who claims that she is not already feeling well. After listening to the news, Nirja's mother is broken, yet she asks her husband to be strong as Nirja will be fine. As the given time ends, the terrorists become more irritated, and they shoot Rahul in the head for not taking their demands seriously. Nirja is thrilled to witness his death and locks herself inside the washroom. She recalls the day when she locked herself up because Nirish was mad at her for contacting her father and paying all the bills for the food. Nirja regains her senses and remembers the rules her father told her to follow be brave. She comes out of the washroom and convinces Safarini to let her serve water to the passengers, stating that she is just doing her duty like them. After a while, the controller gets information about the hijackers and contacts the army. He informs the colonel that the terrorists belong to the Abu Nidal organization and won't step back without getting their men out of prison in Cyprus. He reveals that the pilots are safe due to Nirja's bravery. After that, Khalil suggests killing the passengers and beginning with Nirja, but Safarini informs him that they can't kill her and advises him to start with the Americans. Khalil makes Nirja announce to keep the passports out. Nirja summons her friends and requests them to not collect the American passports. Nirja and her friends smartly hide the American passports and give the rest to the terrorists. On the other hand, Nirja's father contacts his wife, and she seems to be losing her mind thinking about her daughter and claims that their daughter will be absolutely fine. She then leaves the house to buy the yellow dress for Nirja that she wanted for her birthday. Safarini checks all the passports, and after finding no Americans, he starts with Australians and finds a passenger, Johnny Heston. I'm Johnny Heston. Safarini brings Heston to the door, talks to the negotiator, and warns him to kill Heston if they don't get the pilots. The negotiator informs them that they have a radio engineer on the plane named Imran. Safarini loses his mind listening to this and finds Imran. Safarini and his men beat him, and he drags him to the cockpit while Nirja tries to protect Imran. Safarini understands her and asks her to wait while he drags Dabina. Safarini talks to the control room and demands pilots immediately. Pilot! Pilot! But he is informed that it's not a Pakistani flight, so it is taking more time to bring the pilots. Khalil checks Imran's bags and finds a few songs. So he rushes to Nirja and makes her sing by threatening her with killing the kids. Nirja is sacred to death and sings while crying, which turns the plane environment into grief. Nirja returns to her seat and finds her mother's memories a source of comfort for her. At the same time, Nirja's mother finds peace by looking at her childhood pictures 
and watching the other girls and their mothers with great desire. She practices her dance moves, thinks of her and smiles with tears in her eyes. After that, one of the kids needs to go to the washroom, and when Nirjit is leading him, Khalil stops them, but Farhan requests to let them go. Khalil does not like this and starts beating him, but Safarini stops and gets mad at Khalil for doing so. Khalil loses his calm and acts madly. Eventually, he gets up and reaches the cockpit, telling Safarini he is being fooled. He kills Imran and states they will keep killing the passengers until the pilots arrive. Khalil returns to the passengers and threatens every one of their deaths, while Nirja recalls when she returned home after giving up on her marriage. Her mother suggests she find a way, but Nirja reads out Niresh's letter, in which he disrespects her parents for sending her empty-handed and for her modeling career. Nirja claims she tried everything to keep him, but in vain, and her mother hugs her. Nirja gets up and gets permission to distribute the refreshments. Nirja and her friends give food to everyone, and Nirja smartly passes a manual to the man beside the emergency door to read it and open the door. Airport authorities conduct a press conference and inform the public that the Pakistani government is trying to deal with the situation while the army plans the attack. Nirja takes a seat and takes out Jadeep's letter, and upon reading it, she learns that he has proposed to her for marriage. Nirja gets happy while reading it and eats the cake with the letter. On the other hand, Jadeep visits the ad board and seems very sad listening to the radio broadcast about the hijacking. The army plans to enter the plane while Nirja's father gets updates about the hijacking. Unfortunately, the plane suffers an auxiliary power breakdown, which alarms the terrorists, and they decide to shoot all the passengers, supposing that the military has disconnected their power supply. They shoot many passengers to death, and Nirja manages to open the emergency door, but instead of escaping, she helps the passengers get off. Come on, come on, let's go! When most of the passengers reach a safe place, Nirja returns to rescue the survivors, and she is on her way out with the kids when Khalil spots her, and Nirja takes three shots in her back while protecting the kids. Soon, the army enters the plane and injures all the terrorists. Nirja slides down in a miserable condition and receives medical aid, but in vain. Nirja's family gets the news of her demise, and on her 23rd birthday, his mother receives her dead body and places the yellow suit on it while crying. Then a kid approaches her and reveals a filmy dialogue as the last message from Nirja. On her first anniversary, Nirja's mother addresses everyone and reveals how proud she is of her daughter. And even on her last visit, she taught them to live happily. She claims it's still hard for her to believe that Nirja is gone and mentions the time when she received the Ashok Chakra, the highest award for bravery in India, and what the Prime Minister told her. In the end, we are told that Nirja received many awards from the USA and the Pakistani government honored her with Tanga e Insaniyat, while the terrorists were sentenced to life imprisonment by the Pakistani government. And that's the end of this recap. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one.